There are also functions for factors. We haven't talked about factors yet. The most useful one for factors is the table function. I will show you. So don't know if you remember these two columns. they are columns with numbers in empty cars, but the numbers represent categories. So this is the number of cylinders a car has, and based on that you can divide cars into cars with four, cars with six, and cars with eight cylinders. So you can divide the cars into categories. It's categories and not numbers. And the same is true for gear. That's the number of gears a car has. So it's numbers, but the numbers represent categories. So basically, these are factors. So what happens when you do table on that kind of data? He will count for every category how many items, so in this case, how many cars fall in every category. So there are no cars with four gears and eight cylinders. And there is only one car with three gears and four cylinders. It's kind of a contingency table that he makes.